Hello. Good evening. What makes the perfect party? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got to come on these trousers as well. Being a drag queen is more than just having big hair and high heels. We've got problems too. Luckily, I'm here to fix them for you. I'm Jodie Harsh. Bring me your issues. And as your personal dragony aunt, we'll work it out together. Hi guys, it's Vera Moan, just here to remind you to get your tickets for this year's DragCon, May 11th, 12th, and 13th at RuPaul'sDragCon.com. Mm, see you there. Our first question comes from Virgin Extravaganza. I am throwing an epic party in heaven, okay? But obviously, like, as the Virgin Mary, like, it needs to be, like, totes epic. It needs to be, like, the best party, like, ever. Um, now, St. Peter is, like, really, really, really strict um, at the pearly gates. So, like, I basically need to know from you what the guest list should be, what the vibe should be, and generally what one does to throw a totes mage party. Well, you came to the right place, Virgin Extravaganza. I like to think the loud music, an intimate venue, some of your closest friends. It's that kind of alchemy that really can make the ultimate soiree pop off. However, we also like to throw a spanner in the works. Invite people that you know are enemies. In fact, invite exes. Free drama, free shows. It's all about people talking about the party the day after and all the shit that went down. Get people talking and gossiping, boom, you had a great party. Oh, one more thing, lighting. Dim it down a little, just make everyone look. Next up, we've got a question from Tace in London. So, I need your help right quick. I'll be going out, I'll be doing the gig, pulling the pads, the face is done, and then, you know, two hours later, smile lines. How do I get rid of them? I need your help. Thank you. Oh, honey, I know exactly what you mean. My number one tip for eradicating the smile line is filler. Get a little bit of, a little spot of juvederm here. Don't get the lines filled in, because that will give you like a sausage mouth situation. Just get a little bit of filler there and just, you can also go a little bit here to lift, to just lift the corners of the mouth. Do you look, I'm smiling now. No lines. On the market, there are also some creams that suggest that they fill in your smile lines that you put on before you do your makeup. Now, in my experience, these don't work. You put your makeup on top, like within an hour, it's like all creased again. It doesn't fucking work. And anyway, what have you got to smile about? Joke! And all the way from Australia, it's Art Simone. Well, I've just gotten out of the shower, you see, and I'm about to face my drag queen problem that happens every day. What do I wear? Please help me, Jodie. How do you pick the right outfit for the right occasion? Sequins? Or more sequins? Oh. Oh my God, I'm so glad you asked this. I am an expert in this field. I would suggest that what you do is don't want to name any names. That's actually the audience. 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 Right, cool. Good to work with you. Thank you. Get that wig head from Rue's dressing room. Yes, come on. 